Alright everybody, I'm your host Kelly Sparks, aka Red Beard. Should be redhead now. Freaking got sunburnt. So it's October 1st. Oktoberfest. And I'm gonna do try to do a month full of beers. We're gonna take a break from whiskey for a little while. We're gonna do mostly beers. Minimum 19, 20, 21 different beers. Uh, we're gonna crack this off, and I've had this one for a couple weeks sitting in the fridge. This is Native Texan Pilsner by Independence Brewing Company. I just pulled this one out of the fridge. I'm looking at the website right now. Bonnie's like, ooh, you got beer? So, this is a Pilsner. Everybody knows uh, Miller Lite is a Pilsner. Um, we'll read off some information for you guys. Doop, 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 doop. Lovely blonde color. Got the Texas flag on the can, obviously, because we're proud we're from Texas. So, native Texan. Stout. What, Bonnie? No, you're not getting none of my beer. Alcohol by volume, 5.2%. Not bad. Availability year round. Bitterness units, 36. So, the hops, it's got size, size. Color terror, Mittelfruch. Malts, German Pilsner, and yeast, Augustiner Lager. So it even has some food pairings here. Basically, your barbecue food foods. This is a, uh, a session beer. I've already had, I drank five of them one day. I'm not going to tell you what I was doing, but I drank five of them. <laughs> yeah, I was holding one can on each crook of my elbow. Uh, nursing my first day of arm wrestling practice. So food pairing, brisket, fajitas, pho, kolaches, <laughs> crawfish, Frito pie, redfish, chicken fried steak, breakfast tacos, burger, Texas chili, queso, and beaver nuggets. A beer of the people, by the people, and for the people of the great state of Texas. Native Texan is, a pil is as pilsner as German as the, the hill country. You know why there's so many Germans down in the hill country, don't you? Operation Paperclip. Look it up. As bright as the Friday night lights, as clear as a West Texas night sky, as clean as a steel guitar, and smoother than a Texan draw. Best served... I'm reading best served colder than Barton Springs. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink. I will say that you quit it, beer snob. Hey, this is a new shirt that I'm gonna make. Picture of her. Oh, I emptied it. Sorry about it. Picture of her with on the front of a t-shirt and it just says beer snob across the top so it has that it's got the same feel as a will you quit it Jesus Christ Bonnie it's got the same feel as a Miller Lite I'm gonna knock you out right in the fucking mouth so it's got the same feel as like a, a miller light but i personally think it's got better flavor uh, i did uh I, I didn't know what the difference between a pilsner and a lager was so i looked it up pilsner is a type of pale lager so it is a lager it takes its name from the czech city of pilsen where it was first produced in 1842 by bavarian brewer joseph grawl the world's first blonde lager, the original Pilsner Urquell. I think I said that right. <laughs> it's still produced there today. I don't think my fridge is very cold. I think I got a leak in my uh, uh, my Freon. And uh, I have to defrost it like every two to three weeks because it... The freezer freezes up and quits getting cold. But all in all, this would be a pretty good session beer. Just to 
when you're eating hot spicy food if you're outside and it's hot kicking them back this would probably be a great summertime beer right here there's a little bit of bitterness I don't know the standard I don't know what a high bitter let me look that up real quick because I've got a tomorrow we're gonna do a bitter beer and we're gonna find out what the difference is so this one was 36 units tomorrow we're gonna do something we're gonna check the bitterness units on it because it is bitter so we'll do this one and then a really bitter one tomorrow so back to the beer there's gonna be a lot of burping in the month of October so y'all get used to it mmm go over to teespring.com forward slash Redbeard Redbeard's awesome apparel. I think it's there's a link in the description. Check it out. Uh, that's my store. I'm gonna be putting new designs up daily if I can. I'm just gonna get creative. I got a bunch of the skull beard designs with cigars and whiskey. I'm gonna get a good picture of Bonnie and we're gonna put a maybe a black and white picture of her and just put like beer snob and on the back it says your whiskey is trash some shit like that but i think it'd be funny man this one's it's gonna be a lot of bourbon in the month of october <clears throat> hope you guys are ready what is it bonnie all right that's all i got this one's good it's a good like i said it would be good when it's warm out or if you're eating spicy food like it said or crawfish crawfish this would be a perfect beer for crawfish goes down like almost like water it's thirst quenching to say the least so not a bad beer independence brewing company native texan pilsner it's enough said all right don't forget if you want to help donate if you want to support me and my habits and my alcohol dependencies uh, go over to patreon.com forward slash Kelly Redbeard Sparks remember all of this is for educational purposes only I need to start saying that because uh, sorry guys I monetized the channel I bent the knee I gotta do what I gotta do uh, don't forget to check out the bearded idiots check the description below for all the links to all the stuff the teespring page or some shirts for me they're pretty freaking cool be careful though when you're ordering shirts t-shirts make sure you read the description if it says slim fit order one size bigger learn <laughs> word from the wise that's <sighs> all i got body you got anything no all right like always folks drink some whiskey drink some beer Share with your friends and family. Have a nice day. Y'all take care.